Kimi no Shirenai Monogatari! Alright. Hello, I am the Zombie J. And I just posted a, uh, list video earlier. And, hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah, there we go. A little too zoomed in. <laughs> so, I posted a list video. My top five favorite Toa. So, I hope you all enjoyed that. Because now we're going to talk about the top five most overrated Toa. Yes, this is going to be some controversial opinions, shall we? Uh, it's going to be fun, and I hope you all click the like button and subscribe. And if you don't like this list because your favorite Toa was trash talked on, feel free to click this like, I don't care. Um, helps me a little bit, I guess. To, you know try to make better content here and there so we've got five Toa that I'd like to uh, talk about shall we <laughs> number five yep it's top five list no honorable mentions uh, let's go so number five is Kongu watching you Kongu anyway yes Kongu and this is probably a silly reason uh, there's probably a silly reason behind Kongu. Some people kind of hate Kongu for whatever reason. They say, fuck Kongu, he's easily the, the worst Toa. And I think the reason why is because of the mask. Of the... I can't remember the Kanohi name. But it's the, it's the mask on the uh, Inaika uh, Kongu mask. It looks scaly, it looks organic, I guess you could say, but it definitely looks like some kind of an experimental mess. Um, but, hey, I don't mind it. And hey, I have a, I have a Kongu videos in the pipeline ready to be filmed, and I'll be, in, I'll, I know some of y'all will be interested in those, so stay tuned. But Kongu, I don't get why people hate Kongu, I mean, let's be honest. Uh, just because the mask is ugly to you doesn't mean you can personally, you know, trash talk and hate on a Toa. If you look be beyond the reasoning behind the mask being the way it is, the set is actually pretty cool. Obviously the, uh, the armor on the, on the biceps is raised up slightly, which is an interesting, you know, unique facet. But other than that, you know, he's pretty much just the um, designed after the rest of the Toa. Well, more specifically, um, Jaller and Ica, uh, obviously with different feet, and obviously, you know, there's other stuff including colors and whatnot, weapons. <sighs> I don't get it. I really don't. I like Kongu and Ica. He looked pretty cool. Kongu Mari is where I have a problem because. Mostly because, well, he, and I guess this is for the whole uh, aquatic thing, but he has a big ass fucking tank on the back of his head, which um, a, uh, the Mari tubes loop through that in into the Bahamas mask, and it just looks like he's got freaking a tumor or something like that. I don't know, but, and he uses two. Correct glasses. Yeah, very creative Lego. Also, the the very wide shoulders is like this is a weird design, and and yet I think some people stand behind that design more than the Anika design. The Anika build is perfectly fine. Go fuck yourself. <sighs> Number four is Pohatu, and this is probably silly as well, but I've seen it. And the reason why uh, Pohatu is overrated is because of his design, Pohatu Mata, and I guess Nuva. Um, Pohatu Mata has uh, an inverted torso where the gearbox is down below and um, his head is mounted on where the crotch normally would be uh, via some tech bits and bobs. And his arms are um, up there too and his legs are down below, so that's why he, you turn the gear on his butt and he kicks. So that's why he kicks the coley ball, 
or it kicks you in the face. Um, thus giving him also the nickname, the, to the mighty Toa of birthing hips. Yay, meme memes are fun, yes. <laughs> Uh, this is a silly reason why Pohatu is overrated, but it is kind of weird. It's like, I mean, I'm looking at him on my desktop right now with the other five toe, and I'm like, the design is unique, the design is cool, the design is interesting, but the nickname, the, uh, the toe of birthing hips, while hilarious at first, is just kind of ridiculous, to be honest. People should just uh, enjoy the set for what it is, and not be as content to make a f meme of a joke <laughs> that is uh yeah it's it's just weird I, I don't get it it's dumb number three this may piss some people off is uh Kopaka. i'm pretty sure Kopaka was actually my favorite toa at the time back in when g run g1 uh it's its initial run i don't remember but for the longest time now, up until now, um, I think going as far back as 2009 actually, or 2008, I don't remember, uh, Golly became my favorite. So does that make Golly overrated? Mm, maybe, but no, I don't think so. Kapaka is overrated because he just seems to be everybody's favorite. Not everybody's. We'll talk about that. Um, but he gets into conflicts with Tahu every now and then. They have, you know, Kopaka has sort of this cold persona. He's calculating. He's, um, in he's an interesting character. You know, he's a cool character if you want to uh, do that, you know. <laughs> um, but, and I like Kopaka, um, but... He's just not the Toa for me, you know. I like his design from the uh, Toa Mata version up there in, on the shelf um, to the Toa Nuva version. The Fantoka one was kind of weird. The G2 sets were... They had their quirks, but they were pretty cool. Um, Kopaka... Uh, it felt like Kopaka was one of those overhyped Toa... And as a result of that, um, number two, and this is going to piss everyone off, probably. Probably not as much as number one, but number two is Matoro. Yes, Matoro Inaika and Matoro Mari. The Mari design was actually cool. It kind of was a different take on the, uh, they were kind of expanded upon the uh, Inaika design. I liked the Inaika design. The sword was pretty fucking awesome. The mask... Uh, which I'm pretty sure was called the Iden, I don't remember. Um, but that was a cool looking mask. I like it. I, overall, I like the look of Matoro uh, Inaika. The look of Matoro Mari was pretty cool too. The, t the two slicer blades were kind of cool too. The, t the, the abundance of tubes that were on the guy, interesting, the return of the Mata feet. Um, even the Mata foot as a torso decoration, <laughs> which connects his head to the torso. It's, it's a weird design. Even the shoulder pads were, were cool. Overall, the, the two sets were pretty cool. I liked them. No pun intended. No, no pun intended. But it seemed like Matoro was, cons was, I mean, yeah, he sacrificed himself to save Matanui. That's respectable. Well, and his friends, too. But that, yeah, that is respectable. Beyond imagination. But, also beyond imagination, is that it seemed like Matoro was tailored as a martyr. And at the same time, you know, or as a result of that, worshipped by basically the entire Bionicle community. Yeah, Solek could probably be on this list, too. In fact, yeah, there's the honorable mention for it. Solek. I don't like Solek. Fuck him. But Matoro, I, I respect the fact that he sacrificed himself for Matanui, for his friends, for everyone. But you don't have to treat him as some kind of martyr, as some kind of sensationalist, or, or what have you. You know, I, I could draw comparisons to, 
you know, folks in the music industry, but I don't want to do that. So, overall, Matoro is just, again, he's not my favorite Toa, but I do like the designs of the sets and the character while being originally a translator for Mr. Turaga Nuju. In fact, I have Nuju over here. What is Nuju going to do without Matoro? Now that Matoro essentially killed himself to save um, Matanui and his friends, and everyone basically, except for the bad guys. Well, he could always turn to Kopik. Kopik could uh, be the new translator, shall we say, kind of like Holly became the new chronicler after Takaduva. Well, yeah, that's a whole other thing. Anyway, but yeah. Let's be honest, Matoro was another overhyped, to oblivion, character. And it is kind of annoying. So, there you go. Again, I like Matoro. He's a great character. I just feel like he's overrated, you know? Number one, though, and this is going to piss all of you off, but it is true. It is 100% true. Tahu. Tahu is overrated as shit. He is the poster boy of Bionicle. I mean, look, I have a G2 poster from one of the magazines, the club magazines, right there. And yes, again, it has Tahu Master. He's overrated. You have to believe that. You have to, you know... He's like the center point of Bionicle. In terms of, it's like the Toa that everybody wants to be like. Oh, he's like everyone's, fi almost everyone's favorite Toa to some degree, one way or another. It's kind of ridiculous. There are so many people worship Tahu and have him as their favorite Toa, and it's the thing is you kind of have to look past Tahu for just a few minutes. And realize the fact that, you know, all the other Toa have something great about them, too. Yes, even Kopaka, even though he's overrated, too. And the thing is, I bet there were some conflicts between fans. You know, it's either Tahu or Kopaka. Take your pick and have a, have, have a fun ride. Yeah, Tahu, it's just... It's... Uh, I get so sick of hearing about... You know, Tahu being being people's favorite Toa. It's ridiculous. It really is. Y yes, he could be your favorite Toa, but he can't be everyone's favorite Toa. I mean, seriously. Golly is my favorite Toa. Does that make me some kind of heathen? No. Does... Does uh, having Tahu as your favorite Toa make you a heathen? Well, no, but still. It's ridiculous. Tahu is a sensation of a Toa. He's the fiery, hot persona of the f of the fires that burn the chars, uh, the forests around around him and everyone, and, and the enemies that he decides to burn. You know, at the end of the day, it really is what it is. You know, it is what it is, and what it is is what it is. So there you go. But at the end of the day, you kind of have to realize that, yes, Tahu is overrated. Some people love him. Some people hate him. More people love him than they hate him. And I don't hate Tahu. I like Tahu. He's a great character. I just feel like that he's overhyped to oblivion, much like Matoro, much like Kopaka. Well, to a less extent, Kopaka. But, and I'm sure there's other Toa that could have been on this list, but are not. And I, I kind of misspoke earlier with Solek. He's not even a Toa, he's a Matoran. Maybe I'll have a, a list of best and worst Matoran. I don't know. Post in the comment section if you want that list. But yeah, Tahu is definitely the most overrated, overhyped, uh, Toa in existence. Even though he is res a respectable Toa. Leader of the Toa. You have to respect that. That is true. But still, it is insane. 
Some of y'all may say Matoro is, is even more overrated than Tahoe, and well, yeah, I can kind of see that, because, you know, the whole martyr thing and whatnot. But still, Tahoe, Tahoe is, is number one on my list. If that pisses you off, oh well. So, stay tuned for more list videos, I've got, pl <laughs> I've got plenty uh, for y'all, so, <sighs> yeah. I need a drink of tea. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos. I'm the Zombie J. I'll see you folks later. Have a good fucking day and peace. Ugh.